yes i once again welcome you to the class okay shall we continue yeah now we have completed up to ingestion and digestion two process has been completed next one is absorption what do you mean by absorb to take in absorption is nothing but to take in now we are going to see about the absorption process so the digested food enters into the wall of intestine so this process is called as absorption so the digested food up in the first i said they in the small intestine it gets digested right so after digestion okay after digestion the food digested food enters into the wall of small intestine enter digestion takes place in small intestine after the digestion process is completed they go into the walls okay consider this as a wall means it goes inside it okay and then so this process is called as absorption so inside that walls there are number of small finger like structure number of small finger like structure these finger like structures are called as villi not cinema villi okay these are called as villi so what is the work of this villi this villi increases the surface area for absorption of the digested food it increases the surface area of the digested food i'll explain you this okay so we will see where this villi is located where this villi is located see stomach large intestine small intestine i said inside the walls of small intestine right so this is a small intestine right see inside this you are able to see like spike like structure no here some spike like structure which is there so these are like finger like how it looks like it looks like fingers like so it looks like finger like structure yes so what is the work of this villi what is the work of this villi so if we take in more food okay so what happens so the energy will be taken so that extra energy so absorption it used to absorb it that extra energy so this at the time this villi increases its size and absorbs the food materials and keep it inside and gives out when it required so it increases the area of absorption so if the place is not enough what happens to that food so that extra food materials are absorbed by this villi so and it gives to the blood when it is needed okay so what is the function of this villi this villi increases the surface area of the absorption of digested food okay so this is a structure of villi it has blood vessels lactal capillaries and then it is surrounded by a thin surface layer right so this lactal is there right this lactal helps in the absorption of glucose and in the absorption of fatty acids and glycerol so this lactal helps in the absorption of fatty acid and glycerol okay and then this blood vessels helps in the absorption of glucose and amino acid carbohydrate is converted into glucose right protein is converted into amino acid so these blood vessels absorb the glucose and amino acid and this lactal absorbs fatty acids and glycerol so where this fatty acid fat is converted into fatty acid and then glycerol okay fine so the digested food which is absorbed through the walls of the intestine goes into our blood after entering into this into the small intestine the blood where does it goes it goes into the blood shall we move to the next yes so next now the listen ingestion is completed digestion is also completed after the digestion what is what happens to the digested food so it is absorbed absorbed by the walls of the intestine and it is given to the blood okay now the next process is assimilation what is that assimilation assimilation means to take in to take in 
and utilizing it okay so now we will be seeing this assimilation blood carries digested and dissolved food parts to all parts of body we have circulatory system right what is there in that circulatory system we have blood so blood is there any part in your body without blood so blood is circulated from top to bottom so through blood vessels so that blood cells absorbs the energies and it is circulated to all parts of the body cells there the cells will be right right so that cells would absorb and it do its process here see digestive system here the digestion process is completed it is absorbed by the blood cells so the digested food is absorbed by the blood cells that is the cell. after its absorbs absorption through the circulatory system it is transmitted to the body cells through circulation that energy is supplied to the body cells after receiving that energy after receiving that energy so the body cells use it for various purposes that is the assimilation like to it gives energy to do work building up of new tissues repair the old tissues etc okay shall we move to the next okay the next process is ejection what is the next process ejection we have seen ingestion digestion absorption assimilation and then now the last step is ejection okay that what is mean by ejection sending out the otherwise giving out the undigested food so the unabsorbed food is sent to them see these are all the parts which are involved in the ejection that is large intestine anus and rectum large intestine anus and rectum okay so the unabsorbed food from the small intestine that is the blood vessel the small intestine used to absorb the foods which are not absorbed by it are sent to the large intestine okay so now we'll be seeing about the large intestine so this large intestine is wider and shorter but small intestine is what longer one it is of 7.5 meters long but this large intestine is of 1.5 why it's named as large because of its thickness it is large right so it is the large intestine and the one more thing is the small intestine so this large intestine is about 1.5 meters long so what is the function of this large intestine so the unabsorbed food are sent through there right so in this unabsorbed food the large intestine used to absorb some of the water and the salts in the undigested food material in the undigested food material the large intestine absorbs water and salt which are absorbed present in that okay so the remaining waste yes the last least left one that is the remaining waste passes into the rectum and remains there as a solid fecus the solid fecus is nothing but a solid waste which is given out by the human body okay so the facial material fecal material is removed through the anus from time to time so this removal process is called as ejection i said right here in this rectum the waste will be stored in the rectum the waste is will be stored and through the help of anus the solid waste is will be sent out up to this i hope you are clear yes okay shall we have a recap now okay now we'll be having a recap okay from first shall, shall we see okay first what we have seen about we have seen about inject ingestion after the digestion yes the parts which are involved in the process are called as alimentary canal and the path is called as digestive tract yes and the path is called as digestive tract shall we see the picture okay
Fine. Now we will be seeing about the pictures. So, we have seen right, the track which is followed. The track which is followed by is called as digestive track. First ingestion process is over after the digestion. So, in the digestion, the taken in food materials are broken down into simpler ones. Okay, after the absorption. Where does the last stage of the digestion process takes place? Where the digestion process ends? Yes, the digestion process ends in the small intestine. Yes, first the food is taken in and it comes into the esophagus. After passing it through the esophagus, the food reaches into the stomach. Yes, in the stomach the food is break down into smaller ones. But the complete digestion takes place in the small intestine. It is about 7.5 meters long. So, various juices are also secreted like liver and then pancreas. Liver secretes bile juices and then pancreas secretes pancreatic juices. Okay, where is the bile juice stored? The bile juices are stored in gall bladder. The bile juices are stored in gall bladder. See, what is this? This is gall bladder. The juices which are secreted by the liver are stored here and then it is supplied to the small intestine and the juices which are secreted by the pancreas are also given to the small intestine. With the help of these juices, what happens? The digestion process takes place. So, at the end of digestion, the proteins are converted into amino acid, carbohydrates are converted into glucose, fats are converted into fatty acids and then glycerol. See, this liver is present in the upper side of the abdomen and the pancreas is present in the lower side. Okay. Next. So, next we have seen about after the digestion, absorption. Yes. Absorption takes place through villi. Yes, it is a finger-like structure. And then, so this is the location of the villi inside this stomach. This pipe represents the villi. It is like fingers. It increases the surface area of absorption. Fine. This is the structure of villi. After that, assimilation. In assimilation, the digested food are absorbed by the blood. The digested food are absorbed by the blood and is circulated to all the body parts. And it is circulated all over the body. After that, that energy is absorbed by the cells. That cells then utilizes it for various purposes such as giving us energy to do work, building up new tissues, growing, healing of injuries, etc. Fine. Then, after that assimilation, we have seen about adjustment. So, adjustment is sending out the unabsorbed food materials out of the body. So, large intestine is of 1.7 meters long. So, the large intestine also absorbs some of the undigested food like water and salts and the remaining the left one are sent out through the anus and rectum. So, the solid wastes which is sent out by the human body is called as fecal. Okay. So, this is stored in the anus and this is stored in the rectum and it is removed using the anus. And thus the digestion process ends. So, I hope you all clear with this. Okay. So, the homework will be sent you through the WhatsApp. Because last in the last class, you have asked to send the homeworks through WhatsApp. So, I will send the homework questions through the WhatsApp. Okay. Thank you students.